In a world where fruit and vegetable products can travel thousands of kilometers away from where they are harvested, it can be difficult to ensure optimum quality and freshness in all phases, from field to table. Blueberries in particular are a very sensitive product and require careful control, especially around cooling. With the burgeoning numbers of millennials and other consumers all over the world, the demand for blueberries is on the rise and it's expected to keep growing, and especially in the United Kingdom, Germany, and the Far East. As such, meticulous planning and best practices must be added to, especially post-harvest management and cold chain in particular. So cold chain is fundamental for many different reasons. The first one is that we need to stabilize the product uh, to enable as much shelf life as possible. Whether that is product that we are importing, whether that is product that we are exporting, or we're talking about long-term storage for crops like potatoes or, or carrots or onions. But cold chain is fundamental as well uh, to reduce the losses. Without cold chain, up to 40% of what is harvested gets lost. And those losses are a big loss from a financial point of view for the producer, but as well a big loss for society. In Spiro Farms Cooling, leading provider of advanced and sustainable cold storage solutions, is successfully positioned as a leader of pre-cooling and cold chain solutions for post-harvest management of high-value perishables such as blueberries across Africa. Inspiro Farms offers a range of solutions for blueberries cooling treatment such as forced air pre-cooling, receiving and dispatch cold storages, and refrigerated processing areas. We do a broad range of facilities. The facility that we see, first of all, is modular in nature, so it's built on a modular uh, steel structure with high quality insulation panels. Uh, it's really easy to assemble, meaning a pack house that's over 600 square meters might take less than a month to be assembled and allows as well to be uh, reconfigured. The other important thing to understand of this structure is that it's all interconnected with remote monitoring. So every component is monitored. We monitor the electromechanics of the cooling, the energy consumptions of each load, the conditions of the products and of each one of the rooms. And this has allow us to maximize the uptime, to provide support with Alistair uh, with, uh, with services and after sales, as well as uh, to support the improvement of the process of cooling and bringing the best berries possible to the market. Zimbabwe is moving fast towards blueberry production with the competitive advantage of having excellent climate conditions to capture high-value market windows. To meet export standards, Zimbabwean growers and exporters are heavily investing in post-harvesting cooling infrastructure to meet food safety standards and meet quality requirements. This is the case of Loweta Investments, an export agribusiness located about 40 kilometers outside Harare that started venturing into blueberry export with great success in 2019. As the first-time growers of Costa Genetics in Zimbabwe, they are exporting to markets in Europe and the Far East. Lueta Investments started with 20 hectares of production and by 2021, they have expanded to 40 hectares. In 2019, Inspira Farms Cooling designed and delivered a 240 square meter facility which included two receiving pre-cooling rooms to remove field heat, a temperature controlled packaging room and a finished product room with forced air cooling to bring final product temperature down to 0 to 1 degrees, substantially cutting shrinkage. We started uh, in, uh, in the first phase uh, with a 240 square meter pack house that was uh, enough to cater for around about uh, 300 tons of uh, blueberries and uh, we've now progressed uh, from that and added another 340 square meters, added pre-cooling units, uh, up the ante and so far as uh, the specs are concerned and now we're sitting at close on uh, 600, just over 600 square meters of, uh, of pack shed space and uh, the vision there is to be able to accommodate uh, yeah, between 700 and 800 uh, tons of uh, blueberries which we hope to get uh, next year 
Um, this year we're probably going to end up at around about 450, 500 and uh, when the expansion comes in uh, to production that'll get us up to close to that 800 with the vision probably get to go to uh, 1,000 tonnes in, uh, in uh, 2025. The relationship between Inspira Farms Cooling and Loweta Investments is a success. Loweta Investments newly expanded packhouse is rigged with the latest state-of-the-art cooling technology and modular infrastructure from Inspira Farms Cooling, while the scaling system is provided by Top Control. This is the control board for the, uh, for the pre-cooler that has four different suction boxes. Each one of those suction boxes can be controlled individually. For each one of those, we can really set the time for the, for the pre-cooling cycle, as well as the target temperature. The target temperature, in this case, is not measured by the air temperature, but is measured by the pulp temperature, which is something fundamental uh, for Laweta Investments, fundamental for the berries, and fundamental as well for his peer friend. So we want to make sure that the core of the, of the, of the fruit is at the, at the target temperature before it moves on to the second process. So uh, when investing in uh, obviously blueberries, one of the, the big areas is uh, cold chain and those numbers can be uh, pretty overwhelming and uh, you're looking for shortcuts and uh, what you can do to try and make some savings. But the bottom line is, is that this is uh, the most important part of the whole process because you need to get berries to the market in prime condition. You don't do that and you're going to pay the price insofar as rejections are concerned, uh, downgrades. So it's hugely important that we get this uh, process right from the pre-coolers getting them down to the right temperature, into the holding room, and uh, obviously into the pack shed. But this is the new innovation that, uh, that has really uh, been a game changer for us. Moving forward, we're probably going to want to load our own reapers to go straight to port for our sea freight uh, containers. So we needed to design a loading bay that uh, could accommodate for not only our own truck this year to go to, uh, to the airport and uh, load reefers from there, but in the future to load our own reefers. And uh, this uh, design by Inspira, the only one in Zimbabwe at uh, this stage, uh, means that we can actually uh, load our truck in uh, probably uh, 25 to 30 minutes. That's 16 skids on our own truck. And if we did get a reefer, up to 24 skids on a sea freight reefer, and we can probably load that in 45 minutes. You see behind me uh, an electric forklift up onto the deck and straight into our truck. So this has been a game changer insofar as an add-on is concerned. One of the tools that is provided to me for this is the app that I can access both on my phone and on my laptop. And I can monitor every single part of the pack shed from the pre-coolers into the maintenance room, into the pack shed itself and into the storage room. Temperatures here and humidity are extremely important and particularly when I'm off-site I can monitor that this is being maintained throughout the pack shed. I monitor it uh, during the day, I've got it on at my, in my office on my laptop and then uh, once I go home I've got it on my phone 24 hours a day basically. Inspira Farms cooling products and services are based on over a decade of experience of understanding challenges and opportunities in any perishable supply chain. Grid instability, retailers' certifications, post-harvest uptime and quality are some of the challenges Inspira Farms cooling has already solved for its customers, increasing shelf life and revenues while reducing OPEX. Inspira Farms Cooling Solutions are building African cold chain assets, partnering with customers to deliver small and large infrastructure such as pre-coolers and 10-key temperature-controlled packhouses for flowers, fruit and vegetables, chilled and frozen, cold rooms, slaughterhouses and cold chain for animal proteins, as well as strategic assets as refrigerated ports and airport terminals. If you are looking to build cold chain assets with the best cooling treatment for your fresh produce, don't hesitate to contact Inspira Farms Cooling.